Hello everyone, it's Vok here. Today I have a custom Lego Harry Potter Slytherin common room mock for you guys. So let's begin. Now this is just supposed to be a little vignette of the Slytherin common room, not supposed to be the full model, which is something that I've been really uh, enjoying building lately, are just vignettes of something because it doesn't use nearly as many pieces but I can still get the point across of whatever scene I'm trying to do from Lego perfectly and now let's take a quick closer look at some of the details. So right here there is this brown carpet in front of the fireplace and the sides of the gray base plate are nicely angled in right there. I decided to put Snape in the chair right here, which is the same build from the Sanctum Sanctorum set. I just decided that was uh, perfect, so I just decided to add that in there, which is really what inspired me to make this whole Southern Common Room mock right here. But it's dark green, so it works perfectly right there. But then on the other side right here, there is this table, which I achieved this angle for the table just by attaching it with one stud and then propping it up on either side there with a couple of these flat tile pieces. And on top of the table, it has a pretty simple design, but there is this candle with the candle placed below, whatever you call that, not sure. And also this potion bottle, which just really makes it look like, uh, like maybe Snape was here or something because he is in the chair. And it definitely fits the Slytherin very well, especially with that like poison green color right there. Looks great. Now, since this is a common room, I definitely had to add a fireplace right there. And I really like the design of that. It has this Slytherin flag right there, which is from the Quidditch set. And that actually has a little bit of secret right here. You can actually lift that up. And there is another potion bottle inside. So that was just a fun little detail I decided to add right there. And I actually have a different way of attaching that than usual. And that just makes it where it's a bit more uh, like movable around. And then around the fireplace right here, there's a bit of nice detailing using some cheese slopes, as well as finishing off the top of the model here with these two by two gray, like gray cheese slopes right there. Now, uh, for inspiration for this model, I took a look at some pictures of uh, like the Slytherin common room from the movie, and they seem to have a lot of these like green lanterns hanging down. So I added a couple of them on either side right there, and they're attached from these like miniature ball joint pieces. So you can move those around, and those look really good right there. Now, around the fireplace, I'm using these light gray brick brick pieces, and I love the design of those right there. And I just decided to close them in with these dark gray parts going around the sides and above right there. And that just really completes it. And then there's the dark gray pieces sloping down there, and two of them sloping down in front of the fireplace. And for the actual fire detail right there, it is very simple, but there is quite a bit of space in there, so it definitely looks good. And that is just using a fire piece and then this archway piece up above it to get that nice fireplace look. And then right above here, or actually on the ground, I'm using a ton of these ingot pieces just to surround the fireplace with all these brickwork. And it definitely adds to the brick brick pieces right there. And I love using the ingot pieces. They're one of my favorite details to add to a model. So overall, this was a very fun vignette mock to make for Harry Potter and definitely expect to see some more in the future because this is just a building style that I love doing. And this was such a fun mock to make. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for new LEGO videos. And I will see you all next time. Bye!